the Vital Lab at Ohio University and the Filene Research Institute have collaborated to design a financial game called Credit Union Island on the Second Life Teen Grid. This game is aimed at teenagers to teach them the basics of making financial decisions while in a safe environment with no real-world consequences. During gameplay, the teen is faced with many life decisions, such as buying a car and a house, choosing a career path, and even saving for retirement. While on the island, students play a game that takes them through a virtual lifetime and allows them to see the results of various life decisions. Players have the opportunity to either attend college or start work immediately after high school, and they can choose many different cars and homes to purchase or rent. As the game continues, players learn that all of these purchases come with a need for personal responsibility, such as rent payments, car payments, home mortgages, student loan payments, and retirement savings, among other things. Players are also educated about the various ways in which these sorts of financial actions can affect their credit scores. Through the Credit Union Island HUD, Second Life avatars can also make investments and visit a virtual ATM that is capable of currency conversion of Linden dollars to actual dollars. The game automatically keeps track of players' income and gives them feedback about their own financial health. A scoreboard is located within the Credit Union building, allowing players to compare their scores with the scores of others. The Filene Research Institute a nonprofit organization committed to researching credit unions and consumer finances was seeking to develop a program within Second Life that teaches teenagers and young adults the importance of good personal financial decisions. The Credit Union Island provides teenagers with an opportunity to safely experiment with personal finances through games and other interactive events.